ربي زدني علما السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام So today we are going to continue our story of Prophet Musa. Yusuf, are you ready? Yep. Okay. Can you recap the story for us? So Prophet Musa alayhi salam and his family are in the desert. He sees a fire and then he tells his family to wait there and then when he goes up to it, um he has a conversation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives him two miracles. One of them is when he throws his staff, it turns into a snake. And the other is uh when uh he puts his hand under his armpit it turns white. And then he so what does he has to do with the miracles? What does Allah tell him? Uh, uh Allah tells him to go back to Pharaoh and uh um Prophet Musa is you know sort of scared. Mm-hmm. Uh and so he asks Allah for uh, a helper. And then Allah uh, gives him Harun alayhi salam and Allah says um I've helped you in many tasks before too. And uh Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala tells him what tasks he's helped him with and then uh Prophet Musa goes to Pharaoh. Yes. And now today's story and part of the story is a conversation between Pharaoh and Prophet Musa. So we are going to start from ayah number 46. بعد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فاتياه فقولا ان رسول ربك فارسل معنا بني اسرائيل ولا تعذبهم قد جئناك بايات من ربك وسلام على من اتبع الهدى Allah says to Prophet Musa go and both of you say that we are the messengers of your rab فارسل معنا بني اسرائيل so send with us who بني اسرائيل and do not oppress them We have come to you with a miracle mir rabbik from your rab wa salamu ala man ittaba al huda and peace be upon whom whoever follows the guidance aya continues aya number 48 it has been revealed to us that punishment falls on whoever rejects the truth and turns his back on it So now this is what Prophet Musa is told proof Prophet Musa and Harun are told to go and have this conversation with Firaun with Pharaoh now i want you to imagine yourself that Firaun is in his palace and of course is the palace empty no so there will be people right so there will be people there will be his ministers uh, there will be people who give him advice those who fill up uh, the palace so maybe they are entering into the palace there are guards there then they go inside all all kinds of people there right so now musa alayhi salam is going to have this conversation and is musa alayhi salam meeting for on after few years or after a long time a long time yes after a long time and now this time when he returns back remember how he left uh, egypt what did he do uh, he accidentally yeah. killed a man yeah and he was wanted right yeah. he was wanted man at that time and he uh, he escaped from egypt and now when he's coming back he has to have this conversation with firaun now firaun listening to all this conversation now firaun is asking him a question qala faman rabbukuma ya musa he says that who is both of yours rabb o musa so he recognizes and he knows that it's musa alayhi salam okay now he's asking who's your rabb remember musa alayhi salam just said that we are the messengers from your rabb and we have come from your rabb with a miraculous sign right Yeah. So now Firaun is asking who is your rab? Uh, now Musa alayhi salam is going to tell him who the rab is and this is my favorite part of the uh, of the conversation. You'll see that Musa alayhi salam keeps on telling about the rab and he does not get distracted with whatever comments or whatever questions Firaun is asking him. Okay? So now the conversation begins. Qala rabbuna alladhi a'ta kull shay'in. He says uh, meaning Musa alayhi salam says that my rab our rab is the one who gives everything. Khalqahu thumma hada. He created it. and then he gives gives it guidance meaning that whatever allah has created whether it is a bee whether it is a human being whether it is a fish whether it is an angel whether it is skies or the heaven or the earth anything that you can think of allah created that thing and then at the same time allah gave it guidance as well so you said recently we bought a hammock right so when the hammock came and we had to assemble it you and i were in the backyard and we were assembling the hammock How did we know that how to assemble the hammock? Instructions. Yeah, instructions, right? So if person who made the hammock it was just there and we did not know oh how are we going to assemble it, right? We need a uh, guidance with it. Right? The manual? 
Yeah. So similarly, Allah created everything and then Allah guided everything as well. For us human beings, what is the way to be guided? Allah. Yeah, Allah guides us through what? We can't have a conversation Islam. with Allah. Yeah, Islam. And what are the sources? Whose example do we do we follow? The Prophet Muhammad, the Prophet, Quran. Yes, Quran is our manual, right? Quran is our manual. And how am I going to do it? It is through the example of Prophet Muhammad. So Prophet Musa is saying the same thing to Quran. Then Quran asks, "Qala fama balu al Qur'an al ula." Then what is the matter? What is going to happen to the pe- people before us? So now he wants to ask the things because uh, all the people around are listening to this conversation. There's pin drop silence. Everybody is listening what Musa alayhi salam is saying at what what Firan is asking. Now Firan asks that what is the what is going to happen to the people? What do you say about the people before us? So he wants him, Musa alayhi salam to say what that oh they weren't Muslims. Um, I, they are going to go into hellfire. Uh, you have to believe in Allah. He doesn't say all that. You know, he's very intelligent. He says, Qala il muha in tarabbi fi kitab. Musa alayhi salam says that their knowledge, their ilm is near my rub, is with my rub in a book. In other words, I'm not the one who knows about it. My rub, again, the same word. My rub, he knows about it and it is in a book. La yadillu rabbi wa la yansa. That my rub, he does not make a mistake and he does not forget even. And again, he is coming back to the word Rab again. Remember in the beginning, Firon asked him, who is the Rab? So <laughs> up till now, he told that Rab is somebody who gives us everything. And he created us. Then he guides us. And he has the knowledge of everything. And he is uh, somebody who does not forget, who does not make a mistake. And then he continues. Alladhi jala lakumul arda mahdan. Wasalaka lakum fiha subulan. He is the one who made for us the earth spread and trace routes in it. So uh, we have our roads, we have our cars, everything that Allah made the earth in such a way that we are able to do all this on the earth. Imagine if the earth was shaking all the time. Would we be able to stand on it? No. No. Imagine. We'd be able to fall on it again and again and again and again. Yeah. When you are in a trampoline park, jumping for some time is fun. But if the earth was constantly like that, then how are we were going to do able to do any task? Um, and similarly, if imagine that uh, it was the roads were very steep, then it was it would have been so difficult. So this is a rub who made this earth spread in such a way that we are able to do all those tasks. Then along with that, he says, وَأَنزَلَ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً And he sent down from As-Sama. You say, what is As-Sama? The heavens. Yes, the skies and the heavens. And he sent from the, he sends from the skies ma, ma. What is Ma? Water. Yes, ma, water. And it's not just water. It's special kind of water because فَأَخْرَجْنَا بِهِ أَزْوَاجًا مِنْ نَبَاتٍ شَتَّى And because of uh, that water, different kinds of plants grow. And then you all eat and graze your cattle. And in this are signs for those who are the people of understanding. So somebody who can, who is intelligent, somebody who understands, only that person is going to look at those as if they are a miraculous sign. مِنْهَا خَلَقْنَاكُمْ وَفِيهَا نُعِيدُكُمْ وَمِنْهَا نُخْرِجُكُمْ تَارَةً أُخْرَى And this earth, uh, Allah created us from this earth. We are created from dirt, right? So we are created from this and then we are going to return in it. What does that mean, Yusuf? We are going to return in it. When we die, where will we go? Uh, earth? Yeah, in our graves. Our graves are in, in the earth, right? Yeah. So we are going to go there. Then Allah is going to raise us from there. Meaning from our graves. Like zombies? No, not zombies. Because when we ra- Allah is going to raise us, we would be like perfect. As in the way we were. وَلَقَدْ أَرَيْنَاهُ آيَاتِنَا كُلَّهَا فَكَذَّبَ وَأَبَا We showed Pharaoh all our signs. But he denied them and refused. So Fir'an, uh, although Musa alayhi salam did a constant layin, did a constant talk softly, but Fir'an, he denied and he did not follow. Qala ajitana li tukhrijana min ardina bisehrika ya Musa. And instead to listening to it, he says that uh, Musa, you are here, so you can push us away from our land. You want to 
take hold of everything and push us away from our land. فَلَا نَأْتِيَنَّكَ بِسَيْحِمْ مِثْلِهِ فَجَالْ بَيْنَنَا وَبَيْنَا مَوْئِدَا And now they decide how are they going to resolve this matter. They are going to resolve this matter by uh, having a competition between other magicians of Egypt and also Prophet Musa. Prophet Musa has two miracles, as you said. Which were the two miracles? Um, the staff, when you throw it, it turns into snake. In his hand. With these two miracles, the other magicians will try to compete. And what Pharaoh says to Prophet Musa is that you decide a place, you decide a time, a day, and then we are going to get together there. Okay? okay. So Prophet Musa is like an event manager. Somebody who plans a party, somebody who plans a get together. That is the sunnah of whom? Prophet Musa. Yes. So every time we plan something that is following the, uh, the sunnah of Prophet Musa. We are planning to go somewhere and we are organizing it, the time, the day, uh, how everything is going to be. That is the sunnah of uh, event management, just like Prophet Musa. And uh, in ayah number 58, uh, Pharaoh tells him to decide a, decide a day and a time. And uh, Prophet Musa, he says, Qala yawm zina. So the appointed day is the day of zina. So it, uh, it would be something that everybody knows about. Yawm zina could be something like an Independence Day or a, a major holiday that everybody is going to be there. And uh, everybody is going to get together at the time of Duha. So it is before uh, noon. So everybody gathers there and uh, what happens there we are going to cover in our next story. So from today's lesson, uh, something that we learn is uh, through the conversation of Prophet Musa and Fir'aun, which is about Rabbul Alameen. So Yusuf, what did you learn about Allah being a Rabb? He's our creator, he's a sustainer, he's our owner, all that kind of stuff. Yes, and uh, in this story, Prophet Musa tells a few things about Rabbul Alameen. One is that uh, Allah knows everything and we are going to die and Allah is going to raise us again. And Allah made all the animals, uh, the an'am, and he gave us this, uh, this earth. So Yusuf, I want to talk about... Uh, Prophet Ibrahim here. Uh, Prophet Ibrahim also uh, told his people about Rabbul Alameen, who Rabb is. And that is something that we can relate with, which is that Rabbul Alameen is somebody who created us. Then he said that just like Prophet Musa, he said that he is somebody that who guides us. So any time that we mess up, any time we do something wrong or any time we are kind of lost, we don't know what to do. Allah is the one who's going to guide us. Okay, then he says that Allah is the one who feeds us and who gives us things to drink. So a person may think that, oh, who cooks the who cooks food at home? Mostly the mom. Yeah, so it could be mom or dad in some cases as well. So, oh, it's uh, my mom and my dad who gives me food and, and water. But actually, it is provided by whom? Allah. Yes, it is provided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also, Rabb is somebody, whenever we get sick, who gives us that cure? Uh, Allah. Yes. So, we might be taking a medicine that may make us feel better. We might be visiting a doctor, a physician, and they may be treating us. But who is the one who has that ability to cure us? Allah. Okay. And also, Ibrahim alayhi salam said that when we are going to die, who is going to make us uh, be alive again? Allah. Yes. And lastly, in that surah, he mentions that uh, we hope that if we mess up somewhere, who, uh, who do we call to? Allah. Yes. So answer to everything is connecting to Allah. If we need anything, if you're scared of something, if something is going to happen, if you're hesitant maybe to sp say something, if you're fearful about something, um, if we get stressed about something that maybe uh, uh, your some homework or presentation is coming up. Okay, and you are stressed about, oh, I don't know how I'm going to do that, do that. And you may be panicking about it, right? So what do we do at that time? Ask for dua. Yes, make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So may Allah help us uh, understand Allah as our Rabb and may we connect to Allah in each and everything we do. So we'll end up here. Wait for the fantastic fact. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Allah is our Rabb. He feeds us and He gives us drinks. 
So let's learn this dua. Alhamdulillah alladhi ata'amana wa saqana wa ja'alana min al-muslimin. All praise and thanks is to Allah. He fed us and gave us drinks and made us among Muslims.